Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play Vex in the mid lane and carry here in season 12. She's extremely strong right now. For your runes, you wanna take Electrocute with Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection with Ultimate Hunter, Time Warp Tonic, Fisket Delivery with Attack Speed, AP, and a Resistance. Vex's level one is okay. You wanna start E, you can E them, apply your Fear, double auto for your Electrocute proc. That's gonna be your main trading combo level one. Level two, your trading combo is gonna be EQ auto and you can apply your electrocute that way. Level three, generally, if they're a range champ, it's not easy to get in range for your W, but ideally it would be like a EQW or just EQ auto W, something along those lines. You only really want to take Ignite versus melee champs like Fizz, Talon, Zed, Akali. Against range champs, you don't often get in range for it. So melee champions, you can oftentimes kill pre six, even without a gank. Against range champs, you're usually only going to kill them at level six because your R is a good gap closer. We want to stagger these minions a bit. This front melee is taking double range creep aggro. The only downside to the corruption potion start is it makes it a little bit harder to last hit because your autos don't hit that hard. Got it. When he goes in for his last hit, I'll get down the E. We go in for the double auto to apply our electrocute. And whenever you hit something with your E or whenever someone dashes, you do extra damage to them when you hit them. So it's a big reason why you start E. We hit him, get that extra damage off by consuming our Gloom. Against Fizz, our W is going to be instrumental. Whenever he dashes towards us with his Q, we'll be able to blast him. Oops, missed that one. Nice, got it. Go ahead and get a ward down there. He goes in for these. I'll aim. Keep trying to keep him off the, the wave. We got him with Q. We consumed our Gloom there from the E. Our Electrocute is up, so we do want to hit him with three attacks. We're starting to miss some mana, so we can even use a Corruption here when we go to attack him. Corruption gives you extra damage while you're using it. It's got a really weak version of Ignite. Nice. This guy's playing really defensive. Got him with a QE. Ideally, we'd want to E first to consume that Gloom. Gloom lasts for, I believe it's about six seconds. It's a really good way to shove the wave. We'll go ahead and dump it. We'll go ahead and chug a biscuit. Whenever you are very low health or very low mana, it's a solid time to use a biscuit. He's gonna go in for that. We'll hit him with an EQ. Get auto for the electrocute. Get him with our fear because he jumped towards us. You can also knock them out of jumps in the middle of it, whether it's the Trist jump, Fizz jump, Talon jump, Kha'Zix jump. Your E has a much larger circle the farther away you shoot it from yourself. That's generally why you use your E at max range instead of point blank range. It does have a travel time though, so if you use it, the closer to you you use it, the faster it gets there. We have lane prowl since we've been shoving. So we'll go over here and get this guy. We'll walk into him and get him with our W so he can't dodge it. Get him with the Q. Down he goes. This guy's missing too much health. We'll use ignite on him. Into the Q. Down he goes. In a perfect world... Every single combo would be started by your W since it's not a skill shot and it's an instant ability. However, it's very rare people get close enough for you to use your W, so oftentimes your combo starts with an E. Since your E has really high range and it's fairly easy to land since it's such a large hitbox. Your Q is pretty much instant if they're within the first tip. It lands super fast, it's hard for them to dodge. But the second tip, they can definitely dodge. So you never really, if you're starting your combo, you never really start it with a Q if you're trying to land your fear. First item rush, we'll go for Lost Chapter, Control Word. This is a really bad matchup for Fizz. It's really for any melee champion. Mid lane, Vex counters them super, super hard. You can out shove them. And if they ever try to retaliate, you pop W and they're done for. We are gonna have to be careful though. When he hits six, we're gonna have to flash a shark. We have to dodge it or we'll die. It'll be pretty scary. We should hit six first at least though. We'll stand on top of the minions and wait to W. 
There it is. We EQ him. He takes a bunch of damage. We could shove and roam now that we have our R. The only place you roam before your level 6 is to scuttle fight. So if you want to shove them down and play around your jungler scuttle fight, that's fine. But you usually don't roam for any lane ganks until you're 6 at least for your R mobility. We're going to make him lose cannon. Yep, there it is. There it is. He's not really willing to trade with us. He's going to lose a lot of CS. A little surprise that hit him there. Pretty max range. Go ahead and pop our W. He's a, he is level 6 now. He goes in for the last hit. We get him with the E. End of the Q. We landed our R on him. Got him with the last auto attack. He didn't want to sharp for whatever reason. He probably wouldn't have been able to kill us. It does less damage the closer he is to you. So we had such a big HP advantage going into that. Whenever you get a killer assist with your R, like you use your R, you basically get a reset. So much like a Darius R, you only have a little bit to recast it though. We'll go ahead and use our E, apply our gloom into the Q to power shove the wave. EQ is very good for that. Then you walk into the middle of it and use a QW just like that. Max range Q, couldn't find it. My W's on a cooldown and so is our fear, so we can't step up where you could kill us. He still has his R. We'll rotate for this. Get a fruit. Gonna hold on to my fear. We got the fear, but it fears them away from the middle of the circle. It doesn't fear them like a normal fear would. I'm going to flash that. No thanks. Max range E for the slow. I think this is a really bad fight. This doesn't have shark. He already used it over there. You didn't get much value out of it. It's time to reset. We can get full Everfrost. Everfrost is huge. You can full spell cycle them into Everfrost. Spell cycle them again with your low cooldowns. Another thing you can do with it is if they are highly mobile and your W is on cooldown, so you don't have an effective, consistent way to hard CC, to hard CC them and land your skill shots because your W is on cooldown, then you can use your Everfrost. It's like having an extra W essentially. Always Q max and W max and E max. The reason you don't max E first is because what you get per level is pretty low. The damage and all that stuff is not, not ideal. Go ahead and E the wave. Set up a big Q. Vex wave clear is disgusting. She can out push a Malzahar and send a Q through the whole wave just like so. This guy's not really willing to lane against us anymore, so we might as well just shove it really, really hard. That way we have the roam option and uh, he'll lose some minions underneath turret. Got it. Your E slows them, so if you land your E, it makes it super easy to land your Q, which is another reason why you pretty much always E, Q, W. Or E, Q, R, W, I should say. I don't know where their jungler is. I'm not that scared of Teemo jungle. Teemo jungle is good, but it's good against melees. Our team has four range champs, so this wasn't the best game to pick him. We'll go in for the E when he goes in for his last hit. He dodges it. It's fine though. He's going to miss these last couple. And then we could continue to just dump waves on him and our minions are going to break his turret. Pop Corruption. Nice. Got a plate. We're up two plates on this guy. Mm, we missed our fear. His troll, his troll pulls on a cooldown. He can't really engage now. He kind of needs that for engaging. Yeah. 
Got him with the Everfrost. Get him with WQ. R. We get the R reset on the Blitz. I'm not going to take it, though. Make sure you reactivate your R. The reactivation is what does the, the big amount of damage. Much more. It's nearly triple. And it's also your dash, so... Don't forget to double tap that. This is slowly ran himself out of mana as we efficiently shoved the wave. He was having to burn his abilities to just to be able to farm. Take that down and reset. No reason to stay when we're this low. If our Everfrost was up there, we definitely should have used it. I think it was up. Could have had a double, double snare. Go ahead and grab our Sork Shoes and... I say we look for Hourglass this game. If they have an all-in assassin on their team, like an Evelyn or Fizz Zed, Zhonya's is a really good second item. If they don't, let's say you're up against something mid lane that's a little bit more passive, like a Lux, or maybe like a Karma, then you can get away with Shadow Flame. It has more damage, plus it gives you some HP. I'm gonna force out his, uh, I want to force it out with my Everfrost. Oh, I used his troll pull. We'll go ahead and keep dump dumping the waves here. Got it. There's three people bought. We're clear to shove this. I think his R is actually up right now. My W's on a cooldown. He is missing out on a lot of gold though. Whenever he uses his mana to dodge my abilities, it's a good trade for us overall. We can roam with our R here. He's not letting, he's not wanting to fight, so our R is up, we might as well roam. Goodbye, Teemo. Our R is up again for a little bit. Hogma's dead, so don't know how much they could actually do to me here. Oh, his hooks. I didn't think his hook was up there. It's a little surprising. I thought he already hooked. I guess not. Kind of sucks losing our flash. It is what it is. It's very dangerous for squishies to be running around. Once Vex hits six, you can all in him like that as long as you land R. Once again, in a perfect world, before you use any skill shots, you would hard CC them with your W first, once your passive's up, but you don't always have that option because it's not always easy getting close to people. Go ahead and max range E into Q. I'm gonna finish shoving this. We're kind of out of mana. We'll reset from this position. It's really easy to last hit on Fizz. When he's not being pressured, he has a lot of unhit damage. I believe it's his W. It'll buy a big chunk of our hourglass there. We got stopwatch. R is coming up in 20 seconds. We could look for a roam here. It's never really a bad idea to roam on Vex when your R's up, unless there's a wave underneath your turret. This is only a partial wave though, it's not a cannon wave, and it's already missing two melees, plus he's backing, so it's not too bad to roam here. Generally you shove wave then roam, but like I said, this is only a partial, so it's not bad. We hit a mushroom. This guy's dead. Take the R into WEQ. He is a goner. Go ahead and help them shove. When you're helping people shove, your goal isn't to steal their last hits, it's just to push the wave so they can get as much turret and gold as possible. And one Vex Q does quite a good job of that. Blitz has tier two boots, Fizz has tier one. I have the items to handle this fight. I'm gonna QE that, chunk the back wave, and then dump this. Hey guys, I got him with my Everfrost. EQ, he got chunked super hard there and it only cost us some mana. R's up in 20. We'll shove this next wave or two and then look for the roam. There's no reason for us to stay in lane like this. The main difference between playing against a ranged and a melee champion is against range, like I said. 
it's very challenging to actually kill them pre-6 unless they make a huge mistake or unless you get a gank because they'll just play farther back and uh, they uh, they can farm more easily without getting close to you. So usually against range champs, you kill them at 6 or with jungle gank pre-6. Melees, it's much easier because you can hit them with your W constantly and they put themselves at more risk whenever they go into last hit. So... Other than that, it's pretty much the same exact thing. All the same mechanics apply. I don't know where Blitz is. Their whole team's missing. This is when we want to roam. We have the wave crashed, ours up. We have no one bot side for some reason. Teemo might go and gank top right now since Orn's pushed. So we'll head up there. Ooh, hey Blitz. I think Blitz just saw me. We need to get a good gauge of our R. Landed it in a WEQ Everfrost. Down he goes. And now we have another free R to use. Ah, uh, we missed. Feels bad. Trying to find the Blitz. Ooh, I see where Teemo is. I'm kind of low on mana, though. Shoving waves can uh, definitely deplete you after you run out of your corruptions. That's why it's really important to go for a mana mythic on Vex. That's why her only mythics are mana mythics. If you run a non-mana mythic, you'll you'll be oom um non-stop. It'd be cool if Vex jungle was viable. It'd be a lot of fun. She's a mobile version of Annie with an R reset. Get this guy from Everfrost. And we continue to push. We missed cannon, feels bad. We'll look out ahead and leave ward down where we broke the turret. We might be able to kill Kog'Maw, 65, 70. Yeah, we, we have enough mana to full spell combo him. Your abilities go off really fast, so make sure you're pressing the buttons fast enough. I know that sounds silly, but it's actually really important. Yar goes through everything except for champions. W, E, Q, Everfrost. We got Ignite on him. And a Q. Down he goes. That's not going to kill me. Not even close. We had nearly like around 800-ish health. Oh, Kog'Maw is a full item. Look at our items. We have an equal gold spent. Literally equal gold spent. Full item plus tier twos plus a partial. We got absolutely destroyed. This is why Vex has such a good win rate right now. She is uh, a top three mid laner at the moment. Her main issue is she really struggles against Swain and Nivea. Those are super challenging. Annie can also be super hard. Really, really challenging. Annie has more consistent ranged hard CC. Vex's only consistent is her W essentially, especially pre Everfrost. But with Annie, her Q way outranges Vex W. So Annie can constantly stun you. And you're in the position where if you're not landing your skill shots, by default, she'll be beating you because she's point and click. So it can be tough. If you want a guaranteed uh, experience on Vex, just play her against melee champs. If you're up against a ranged champ, just don't do anything too crazy pre-6 because pre-6, you're not going to have a proper way of killing them. Nice. Ooh, missed the bind. It's all right. Very close. Oh, wow. You almost got me with that one. I'm going to go back to pushing. Or at least stand in between Fizz and my teammates. I have Zhonya's too, so I should be fine. If he sharks me, I can Zhonya's. We'll drop E, max ranged in between, apply Gloom to as many minions as we can. Into the Q. Do we have an R we can find here? R range is like a level one Lux R. If we arm, he'll just Fizz Troll pull it. We cured the Teemo, we get him with the Everfrost, walk him down with uh, Corruptions on. And now we didn't get the R resets because you have to kill them fast enough. If the Mar target dies within six seconds, 
Then you get your R. I guess it took us six and a half seconds to kill Timo because he died pretty fast there. Pretty fast, I'd say. Yeah, the amount of damage Vex does against monsters is disappointing. Definitely not made to jungle. Hit him with the Everfrost. Down he goes. Oh, wow. I'll flash W this. Ignite on the Kog'Maw. Got him with the Tipper Q. He juked the wrong way. So he juked left when I threw it centered and then he juked back to center. So if he would have held tight with like the left side, he would have lived. He got lost in the sauce. Boop, boop, boop. Lots of nice little fruits. It'd be nice if your W had a constant indicator around you because it does take a while to get a feel for how far you can push it. It's bigger than an Owl Star Q, but uh, it's almost like a Thresh auto attack in terms of range because it goes off instantly and there's no way to set it to where you can see it ahead of time unless you hover your cursor over it. Your most important tool for surviving champions is dash and leaps. As long as your pass is up, you'll knock them out of the air instantly. You can still do that with your Q and your E, but their skill shots, they could potentially flash it or dodge it. Got Shadow Flame. At this point, we'll go for Robidons. Could pick up a Dark Seal as well. You don't usually want to get rid of Corruption Potion until the late game, especially when you take Time Warp Tonic on Vex. You'll be moving 4% faster whenever you're under its effects, which is a lot of extra movement speed. So instead of moving 380, moving 395 15 extra movement speed at this point uh, again with the snare baby now we get our resets i don't have vision of anything i really need the blue ward blue ward's way better on vex than uh, yellow ward so you can find the resets and they quit they gave up GG's well played. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graphs. I have a feeling we are probably number one most damage. Curious to see what our damage taken looks like. Looking at damage ultimate champions, we did have the most in the game. Looking at damage taken, very average, not too shabby. If we take a look at runes, super high value. I highly recommend this build. You guys should definitely give Vex a try right now. She's super powerful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.